Oh my God, too much yay and awesome. You don't know. Um, one of probably like the eldest known names on YouTube, and I will put it this way, uh, Sakai had actually returned to Facebook. Sorry, didn't mean to disappoint you guys, but I'm really freaking happy about this. You have no idea. Um, <laughs> we're just, you know, conversing back and forth. Um, if you don't remember who he is, I'm going to go ahead and leave the link in the description because his vlogs were nothing short of amazing to me, um, which is how him and I had met. And uh, we just started talking back and forth about all kinds of topics. Um, he never really, you know, he never really commented too much on my videos, which is okay. Um, excuse me, not a biggie. All good. Cheers. Yeah. But um, he always had a very good vlog because he would talk about different topics and in such a way um, that was very uninhibited and... Uh, you know, uncut. He didn't do the junk cut bull crap. Yeah, he did, you know, the very nice, you know, introduction. And uh, at one point, YouTube had basically uh, muted his introduction music, I guess, because uh, some kind of company had a problem with, uh, you know, the copyright or whatever. Eh, happens. But he always did it smooth. He always did it real. Okay? Every single vlog that he did was completely uncut completely real. I know that a lot of us on YouTube go through, you know, phases where to where um we'll do like the jump cut thing just for uh the just for making it funny or uh maybe to cut out some things that like maybe we should have edited and we didn't exactly think that we shot right. Um and sometimes we get so much into the editing and production aspect of it, we kind of lose sight of uh vlogging in itself and why we do it. Um so it's it's really good to to see him back on just to see him back. <laughs> I mean, I actually told him that I was worried about him. Um you know, that maybe something happened to him, something happened like maybe to his family. Thank goodness everything's okay. He's doing really well. He's actually coming up with books like bam 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 like he's just writing nonstop and just getting it done and kicking ass and just putting on his A game and doing what he's got to do business wise and good for him. You know, honestly good for him. I think that, uh, you know, he really deserves all the blessings that he receives, uh, in abundance. Absolutely. I do believe that. And I do know it for sure. Uh, because I know him for the person he is and he's a, a truly kind and gentle and uh genuine soul. And, uh, you know, if, if you guys had the, um, <clears throat> opportunity to speak with him at any given point or get to know him, you would know this about him. Um, I'm hoping, okay, Sakai, um, that you make a comeback, that he makes a comeback on YouTube, okay? It would be really good to see you back. It really would. You have no idea. Um, because I know that the books that you're writing are based on all that truth that you would speak. And uh, it, it would just be so awesome if you did that. I'm I'm only requesting. I'm not demanding. Okay, um, but it is just so good to see you back. I missed you. I love you. It's so good to see you. You have no freaking idea. I want to cry. <laughs> I'm just so happy. It's ridiculous. Um, that's it, man. Uh, it's been Jen catching you on DTWJ. Keeping it real as always. Don't forget to subscribe. And um. That's it, man. See you guys on the next one.